uh, might go sit. Building a new house there. What's going on, guys? This is the best one, a out with the wife, and we're gonna make a nice little cruise on out to Home Depot. As you guys may know, we're uh, painting over the frames for the doors and the doors. So I've been priming them and um, been working on that. So I just wanted to get some more primer because we're gonna need it for so that I can finish the doors or at least to prime the doors and then after that put the color on. So yeah, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very uh, lengthy process, but um, yeah, it's, we're getting it done. So we, you know, we haven't been uh, two up on a bike probably since I did that Pennsylvania series. Man, that's been a while. That's probably like almost uh, maybe two years ago. It's been a while since we've done that. So. You know we're just taking our time right now and um, we're gonna kind of take the long way to Home Depot I figured you know we'll get a break let her get out the house a little bit and I can get out the house a little bit so I took a few days off so that we can get some things done in the house and uh, you know just kind of enjoy ourselves a little bit so I do have the new Freedom Shield on the bike this is the 11 inch Torin edition and Torin edition basically means uh, you get a little bit more length as you can see on the left side here and on the right side here you get a little bit more uh, width actually I should say so and you do have that curve up at the top and I will I'll do a separate video where I try and uh, show that out to you and we'll stitch that into the middle here so that you'll see. Hey guys, what's going on? The best one, eh? So I forgot the bike out here. I figured what I would do is take a short ride this morning. That way I could figure, finish that video. And I wanted to show you the Freedom Shields uh, windshield that I'm just so happy with. I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really happy with the construction. And um, I just wanted to give you guys a better view of it during the video. So let's check that out. All right, so now that that car has gone by, as you can see, this is a little better view of the shield from behind. Uh, this is the 11 inch option uh, shield. When I measured from, when I measured the shield that reckless gave me uh i got 10 inches pretty much from here on up or if i'm not mistaken i think yeah i think that was how i, re I uh, measured it so i did this i measured for this the same way but i think if i had got a 10 inch that would have also been fine but i can live with the 11 and i'm really happy with it now uh, this is the Torin model shield so as you can see and i'm probably going to show you in the other videos it extends out a little bit more and this is just meant to take that wind and throw it off of your off of your arms so as you can see and you can imagine it will just blow that wind more across and around your shoulders and it creates a really really nice uh, really nice effect it also has the the little top curve up here as you can see it in that design and you can angle the fairing there's no cars coming right so you can angle the fairing if you so please you can angle the fairing uh, I think I have a little bit more down that I can angle it or I can angle it back just a tad bit more now I haven't even played with the angling since I've had it but uh, that's pretty much up to you if you want to do that but I haven't done it yet so <clears throat> fitment was pretty easy it went in pretty easy even though you see the little bit of overhang here uh, that wasn't an issue at all and I'm really happy with it 
I'm really happy with it. I asked my wife, I was like, hey, do you feel a lot of, uh, do you feel a lot of wind back there? And she was like, ah, oh, not really. Even though, as you can see, she will sit that much higher. She's going to sit like right there. And you can see it's, it's a tad bit higher than from where I, where I sit. So she usually would get a little bit more wind. But I think what ends up happening is it takes that wind and it blows it, it blows it just up and hopefully over her helmet i won't know until we get a really good uh little highway ride in but i need to get a better shock because i did change out the progressive shock but i took the spring and put it on another stock shock that i had i bought another stock shock but that shock is once i got on it and it, it once it got hot out i realized that shock wasn't any good so probably what i end up having to do is just buy a brand new shock instead of these used shocks because these used shocks are garbage um, so I'm going to have to buy a brand new shock and put that on and go from there. So, yeah, guys. So this is the uh, Freedom Shield. Okay. And as you can see there, uh, freedomshield.net. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So if you guys get a chance, you know, feel free to check that out. All right. Now back to the video. So now that I guess by now you probably would have seen that if I did stitch that in here or at the end you'd have a little better idea. I've been so busy I washed a bike and did a whole bunch of other things but I didn't uh, I didn't actually clean off a lot of the water spots so I have some water spots on the windshield whether or not you're seeing them I don't know not sure yeah but uh yeah i've been really liking it uh, on a highway doing like 70 75 it's cut the buffet in that i usually would feel down a ton a ton i mean man i've been really really happy with the amount of buffet in that it's cut down so you know really happy with that we're gonna make a left here I've got the uh, stock spring on here with the progressive shock. Of course, as usual, when riding two up, try to slow down a lot of my inputs where usually I would just be banging it bing 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 one two three you know what I mean I uh, try to slow it down I slow down my turns and my stops I try to stop a little bit earlier even though granted I think that time I could have stopped a little bit earlier than what I did another stock shock actually it was a used shock and took off the progressive spring off of the old progressive shock and put that on here and uh, that that helped the ride a little bit the only thing with this shock that I noticed is a compression I think it's a little bit low so it might be a little low on nitrogen and I don't think there's a way that you can top it off or to know to top it off you'd have to know how much nitrogen will go in there and probably what I end up doing is buying a new shock for V-Star 1300 and taking that spring off and putting my progressive spring on there and that'll give me a little bit more uh, it should, should give me a little bit more stronger compression so the progressive spring is a little bit tougher of a spring so it gives you a little bit of a firmer ride but um i think this shock probably has just already lived its life and it's probably at the last edges of its life so i'm wondering how the shield is for her or how it's working out for her it should be it should be fine because it's pushing the wind 
it should be pushing the wind a lot further up than my other shield is i do see through the shield for the most part but when i'm looking way out there down like where you see that yellow car coming now i'm looking above it so but if if it's for immediacy yeah i am looking through the shield it doesn't really bother me too much I think I'm fine with that. I can live with that. That's not really that big of a deal. But I've been watching a lot of guys' videos out in Sturgis. Man, just amazing. Really just amazing out there. That's really a trip that I think one day I sure would love to, to get out there if somebody lost their hat. I sure wouldn't mind getting out there to, to do that trip, but uh, I know right now, right now I don't, I don't think I see that happening. You know, not for right now, but yeah, definitely in the future. Yeah, I definitely could see it. So. Anyway, guys, not to keep you too long. Um, yeah, just out enjoying a short ride. It's just a little short update on the shield and a few other little things and we're just gonna enjoy this little short ride you guys be sure to take it easy and take care